Good evening and welcome to the Tholo Newspaper Analysis for 28th November 2022. So today we do have an editorial article which is titled Enabling Isn't Charity and it has been taken from the Indian Express. Following that, we will have the news update and the legal news which you know are a part of Law News Initiative. So with today's editorial, Enabling Isn't Charity, it talks about this particular case, Abhimanyu Pratap Singh versus Namita Shekhan and another, in which the Supreme Court of India imparted compensation to an advocate who was rendered permanently disabled after a road accident in 1996. So it was basically a revision of the compensation that had been awarded previously to the app- appealant. And the Supreme Court took into consideration that he had suffered a permanent disability and thus increased the amount of compensation that he would have received based on the order of the trial court. Now, while the victim of this accident did receive an enhanced compensation, the Supreme Court of India made some alarming observations in light of disabled persons. Firstly, the court held that the disability suffered by the advocate meant that they no, they would no longer be able to carry out their duties efficiently. The court also said that the disability would mean that the appellant would not be able to compete with normal individuals any longer. Now, while it is true that the disability suffered by the appellant would quantitatively and qualitatively affect his efficiency, the court's use of language is rather disparaging. Like the disparaging observations that the court went forward and gave, they were uncalled for. And it is this Supreme Court itself that has stated previously that a lawyer can be just as effective from a wheelchair as long as she has access to the necessary means to represent the client to the best of her capabilities. Further, in the case of Vikash Kumar versus UPSC and others, The Supreme Court made special stress on the course of language that was to be followed in offices when referring to disability suffered by individuals. And in light of all of this, there should be strict course correction in the manner the officials are treated or the officials treat people with disabilities. So with that, we move on to the news updates for today. Firstly, we have the world's longest gas supply deal. Now, Qatar Energy announced a 27-year natural gas supply deal with China, calling it the longest ever seen as it strengthened ties with Asia while Europe scrambles for alternative sources. Secondly, Tata Consumer to buy Bislery International. Bislery International Private Limited is in advanced discussions to sell its business comprising its flagship bottled water brand Bislery and Tata Consumer Products Limited is a front runner while other companies are in the race too, as the deal is yet to be finalized. This is after the founder has es- had established Bizlery for 82 years and is now looking for a new uh, like a new head under which Bizlery can flourish. Thirdly, we have the IDFC First Bank launches First App. IDFC First Bank has rolled out a sticker-based debit card called First App. The launch is in association with National Payments Corporation of India to facilitate transactions by simply tapping the sticker on a near-field communication NFC-enabled point-of-sale terminal. Fourthly, we have Portugal's Cristiano Ronaldo, or the CR7, as he is better known, becomes the first male player to score in five World Cups. So the Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo became the first male player to score at five World Cups with a goal for Portugal against Ghana. The 37-year-old striker converted a penalty in the 65th minute to give Portugal a 1-0 lead. With this, we move on to the legal updates. We have only one legal update for today. Women can also be held guilty of outraging a woman's modesty. Now, a Metropolitan Magistrate's Court in Mumbai has held at Section 354 of the IPC as being gender-neutral qua the offender and thus convicted and sentenced a mother of three to one year rigorous imprisonment for outraging another woman's modesty. And this was held in the case of, in the case number 7000138 slash PW slash 2021. So with this, we come to an end for the thorough newspaper analysis. 
of these study materials and TLA PDF slides, please join our Telegram channel, the link of which you can find in the description, or you can always scan the barcode that is given on your screen. For any further information, please feel free to visit www.lawsifa.com. Thank you.